Hello everyone, it's me, Sarah, and today we are going to go over five tips to help you get through Camp Nanomimo. Now this video is most likely going to go up on the 1st of April, so happy Camp Nanomimo! There is no real reason for that except for the fact that time has no meaning anymore. That and the kids are home, so you know, they always do real things. Whether you're a newbie or an oldie at camp, it can sometimes be a struggle to get your word count done. I know that with camp it is a lot easier setting your word count because it can be wherever you want it to be. It's not set at 50,000 words like NaNoWriMo is, so it is the perfect way for you to start a new project or get some revision done to really test yourself and challenge yourself with your word count or you still want to get some words written but you want to take it easy. No matter what you're doing this April, here are five tips to help you achieve your goal. Number one, make mini goals. Now I know it's easy to say, I'm going to write 25,000 words this month, but sometimes that can feel a bit daunting because 25,000 words is actually quite a lot. The easiest thing I find is to break that down into mini goals. So whether that is focusing on writing 800 words per day, which sounds a lot more manageable than 25,000 words in a month, Break it down even further, I want to get 400 words written in this writing session, etc, etc. Breaking your goals down into the smallest amount you can makes them seem a lot more manageable, which hopefully will reduce the stress and worry that you're not going to get it done. Because it's so easy to write 400 words, it's not so easy to write 25,000. Trick your brain! That's, that's the key, to trick your brain into doing what you want it to do. It doesn't always work. Right. Number two, keep inspiration and motivation nearby. I always have writing prompts nearby if I feel myself getting stuck. I have Pinterest pages with lots of um, aesthetic and inspiration for the novel that I happen to be writing. Always keep what inspires you and motivates you as close by as possible. So if you do feel stuck, or if you do feel yourself losing that motivation or inspiration, it's right there to sort of help you get back up. Hang up some inspiring quotes, get a post-it note and write down things to do if you are feeling down so it's in your eyesight ready to go so you don't struggle for too long. Number three, get ahead quickly. I want to say it's proven fact that the first week is the easiest for Camp NaNoWriMo. I don't know if that is actually true or not, so like, don't quote me. But the first few days of Camp NaNoWriMo are always the easiest. You're ready, you're ready to go, you're full of excitement, you think it's going to be the best time in the world. And then obviously that sort of motivation will peter out the further along you get. So, best practice i found is to get as far ahead as you can in those first few days when you're still feeling ready for it then you've got some extra words tucked away just in case you struggle on a different day is your goal writing 1000 words per day day one day two day three write two that way you've got 3000 words spared just in case something goes wrong number four keep track of your progress this I find is a great visual motivator that helps me see how far I have come. Looking at how far you have to go just can serve to demotivate you, so I always look at how well I have done. You can do this in a multitude of ways, you can do spreads in your bullet journal in a notebook, you can give yourself a star in your diary every time that you write a certain amount of words, you can keep updated with your Camp NaNoWriMo tracker, any way to track how well you have done to give yourself a feeling of success every time you look at it. Number five, don't edit as you go. Look, I, I'm a big stickler for this myself. I hate editing as I go because it slows me down, it makes me think, it makes me question what I've written and then I don't get the words done that I want to get done. During Camp NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo, I feel are the three months of the year where editing as you go, big blanket ban on it, don't do it. Camp NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo, they're all about getting your work done, whether that is revising, whether that is rewriting, whether that is writing something new. The point is to write as much as you can or do as much as you can in the time you're given. That, and then and editing as you go kind of doesn't fit that point. If you keep going back to edit what you've already done, questioning what you've done, you're not going to get your work finished. So, 
for the month of April, no editing. You can do that in May. One thing that I always like to say, winning isn't everything. I know that we all aspire to complete our goals, especially for things like Cam NaNoWriMo. I know that not fulfilling those goals is a big downer, doesn't make you feel very good, but it's not the end of the world if you don't hit your word count by the end of the month. It doesn't mean you're any less of a writer for not completing your goals if you haven't had the time, if you haven't had the energy or the motivation to do it. Signing up to Camp NaNoWriMo does not, you know, you don't sign a contract in blood, you know, to get these words done. Nothing's going to happen if you don't. With everything going on in the world at the moment, you should be thankful and happy and ecstatic at however many words you have managed to write. Remember, always look back. Don't forget to look back at what you have achieved instead of looking forward at what you have not achieved. And I think that's a very, very important lesson that I think every writer needs to know. Remember to manage your goals throughout April, change them if you need to, and don't focus on the negative if April does not go as you imagined everybody taking part in Camp Nanarimo this month. Good luck, I wish you the best and I'll see you in my next video. Good thoughts and happy writing!